Hi. Hi YouTube. Thank you so much for joining us. This is the third in a stream of videos that I'm doing today. Um, I've done today my video and I'm reviewing some paints. They might not all come up in the right order, but there you go. So today I am reviewing the Jane Davenport paints. This is the neutrals palette, I believe. Um, yeah, so this was sent to me by my friend Mikey, which I am absolutely amazed about. Yes, the neutral palette. So I've got all of these fab colours. So I'm going to get on and open all of them and we will test them out. So for those of you that have lots of little palettes like this, I mean I have the, this one now and I have my Prima palettes, I've got two. Do you keep them all in their individual palettes or do you slip them in something like this so that you've got them all together in one big palette? I'm curious. Yeah, tell me how you do it. And if so, what do you do with the wee tins? Because obviously these this lifts out, okay, and I'm off, you know, I'm often curious. Well, do you keep the tins or something? What do you do with it all? Okay. Let's get unwrapping. They unwrap really easily, really easily. I quite often struggle to, um, there is nothing on here that tells me what color this is. Okay, there's nothing on the, pa on the pan. I love that dry paper falls out of the pan. There's nothing on the pan to tell you what color this is. Okay, which is unfortunate. This, however, has the names on there. This was on the back of the little bit of paper that comes in here. So that's all right then. I don't There's need to keep the... There's a heart on there. I don't need to keep the labels. But it would be handy if the palette had it on. Prima do it, or they have done on the two that I've got. Yeah, if you're eager to get into them, <laughs> Jane Davenport's the one, because, wow, they are really easy to open. Nothing is stuck down. They are just wrapped and then she uses this bit to stick the things down. So just to show you, okay. Once you've unstuck that, nothing else is stuck. It doesn't appear to be stuck to the um, cling film or anything. It obviously is because I can't push it out. So that one just might have been a fluke. But yeah, once you've sort of unstuck it from the other, from this part of the paper, it just unravels. There they are, Hi. all in the palette. Hi. This is the rubbish it leaves. I just want to work. This is the only thing I don't like about buying these, is that I realise they've all got to be individually wrapped, I understand that. It just feels so wasteful. I <laughs> to Especially when it's wrapped in plastic, you know. Mum, I yes. make it to work. I had a good day. Okay, go play. So I'm going to um, test it on here and in a Scribbles That Matter Pro, simply so we can get an idea of how it works in here because, you know, I bullet journal. I don't use the Scribbles That Matter Pro anymore, but it's a way to test it, isn't it? So, and I know that the Prima ones, they send you watercolour paper. Now, this doesn't feel like watercolour paper. In fact, it feels like glossy card which I'm a bit like, mm, okay. So, let's give it a try. That is the mangoish mango I have ever seen. That is bang on. Okay. Um, I lift it up because I'm aware that my camera doesn't zoom in that well. <sighs> that is exactly how mango looks. I know it looks slightly different on my camera, but looking at it in real life, that is a lovely mango orangey colour. The apple, again, is exactly what I would expect. You know, Snow White, the red apple, that is what I thought when I put it down. The blueberry, beautiful colour, looks amazing. Dove, went down lovely. <laughs> it's grey that, you know, I've got a grey in one of my primers, but um, I don't know if it's the same. Let me see if I can find it. I 
think it's in here. Uh, that's Tombo, that's Polychromos, that's Statlers. I don't think it is actually, now I've said that. Ooh, yeah. Right, so it's in the classics and it's just cool grey. Um, it's lighter than the one in the Prima, for those of you who are curious. Then we've got Unicorn, which it's white. White never shows up, so you know. Then you've got Raven, which is a really nice rich black actually. That came out really, really well. I was really pleased with that. Vitamin C is a really orangey orange. <laughs> it's great. Sand and buff. Um, that does look like sand. You know, like when you, if I was to get sand wet, rub it on the paper, wait for it to dry and then wipe it off, that is what you would get. Okay. Buff skin. That is skin colour. Oh, I get another sticker. Thank you. Um, yeah, that is going to be perfect for skin, which I'm really pleased about because I don't have a good skin colour. Um, there's spice there. That's a really nice colour. Um, I'll just go into another sticker. Lovely. Uh, thank you. Um, yeah, spice is a nice, very light colour. At first I thought it was going to be darker, but no, I quite like it. Kiss Kiss. I don't know why that was called that colour. Um, for Kiss Kiss, I would expect... 1950s red lipstick colour. Yeah, 1950s red lipstick. That's what I would expect for Kiss Kiss. You know, you know that kind of colour. I don't know why that was called that. It's not red. It's a sort of ready brown, clay. Think clay type mud. A bit lighter than that. Coco. That is lovely. It's dark. It's rich. Really, really nice colour. So there you go. Um, that's how it came out in my book, and that's how it came out on their card. The card is glossy, okay? It's not watercolour paper. That is a glossy type card. So that's why you can see the strokes. It looks a little bit messy. But, hey, you know, there you go. So yeah, tell me, do you keep your paints in their individual palettes? Because I've now got three of these. And I can see me buying more, especially with Jane Davenport's. I really, really like these. Do you keep them all in their individual palettes? Or do you say sod it? and you shift them all into a palette so they're all together. I've already got my Eclectic Scribbles paints in here. Please see the two videos that are popping up in the cards around about now. Um, they are already in here. <laughs> so, and I can fit 13 across there. Now there's, what is it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There are 12 I could fill this up with those those two with room for what three more. Hmm, I don't know. So what how do you do it? Do you keep them in these? Or do you put them all in one big one so they're all together? Tell me how you do it. I'm interested to know. So that's my review of the Jane Davenport paints. Neutral palette. I will be buying more. I'm very impressed with those. They're, they're nice colours. They go down nice. They dry super quick. Really nice. Um, I just want to say thank you to my friend Mikey for sending me this. I didn't, in the interest of uh, full disclosure, I did not pay for this. She sent it to me as a gift, which I'm very grateful for. Thank you, sweetheart. And um, yeah. Includes three primaries and a specially selected set of colours, just so you know. And it says these, this palette of fine watercolours features three primaries so you can mix any colour and some of my favourite hues. Use the reverse this card to make a handy reference. I hope this fine little set of watercolours brings you big joy. Join me at jadenavenport.com for painting tips, techniques and art making lessons. Ooh, I might have to go and have a look at that. She's got a Facebook, a Twitter and an Instagram as well. So yeah, there you go. I'm going to be buying more Jane Davenport, I think. Because I like them. I like the colours. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, I hope you found this helpful. Please feel free to give me a thumbs up. We like that. Leave me a comment. We love comments on this channel. We adore them, as my son tells me in every video that he's a participant in. <laughs> um, any comment gets a response, whether it's a like, a love, or a written reply. If you click the book, you'll be subscribed. And if you hit the bell, YouTube willing, you'll be notified when I upload new content. Thank you so much for watching. Take it easy, guys.